Hi, welcome to today's Pilates class. Um, we are just gonna get started right away. I am gonna give you the option on lots of little pieces of equipment like a ball and hand weights and a loop. So inhale your arms up and exhale down by your side. Just start with that nice deep inhale, really fill those lungs and exhale out. One more inhale. Interlace those hands this time above your head and point your pointer finger straight up to the ceiling. Teeny tiny tilt, one side and lift. Other side, so a little bitty lean, left and right. As you're doing that, feel your heels pressing down into the floor. Feel your belly button pulling in towards your spine. Drop your tailbone down towards the floor for me. For four, three, two. Exhale those arms all the way down, a little bitty chair squat and lift. Just getting all the little pops and cracks out first thing in the morning, or maybe last thing in the evening. I'm not sure when you're doing this. Three, two. This time I want you to squat down. I want you to pick up that right foot and give me a hip circle working through that hip joint. Other side, hip circle, squat. Big old hip circle, squat, big circle. Working all the way through that little ball and socket joint. And circle one more on each side. Good. Right there, just sit down in that chair squat. Find a really nice chair position for me. Feel like your tailbone's going down to the floor and not kind of sticking out towards the wall behind you. Pull your shins back over your heels. Press the weight into your heels. Take your hands together and give me a little bitty tap. Outside one thigh and center. Other side, center. Tap and tap. Really work through those abs. Pull your belly button in towards your spine. And a little bitty twist. You are welcome to stay with that. I'm going to give you another option of reaching up, twist up in the arms. Reach up and twist up in the arms. Overhead chair and twist. Overhead and twist. Give me two more sets. Lift and twist. Each side. And then bring those hands down on your thighs your shins, or maybe even bring those hands all the way to the floor. Slowly start to straighten your knees, and then give me a little bend in the knees. Straighten the knees, and bend the knees one more time. Straighten the knees. And on this one, make the knees as straight as you can. Press that belly button towards your spine as you start rolling up one vertebrae at a time, just stacking those vertebrae one on top of the other and all the way up. Still warming up, little side lunge and in. Other side and in. Side lunge. So when you go into a side lunge, think about this opposite knee staying pretty straight and only one side bending. Shifting your weight and your hip way over one foot. Four. Press. Three. Give me two like that. One more on each side, and then add a little twist with those arms. Reach and reach. Now, depending on your balance, you might shift your gaze a little bit towards the ceiling. Sort of play with that. If that isn't working for you, keep a spot right in front of you that you're looking at, because I do not want you to fall over. One more on each side. And in. Take your right foot, shift it back into a lunge position. Just lift the heel, lower the heel. Working into that calf, just a nice little stretch through the calf. Three, two. Good. Press the heel down. Reach as far forward as you can. Get into that calf stretch. And now give me a slight bend in that knee. A little lift in the heel. Reach forward like you're picking up a super heavy box and sh shift your weight down towards the floor as you reach overhead. Shift forward and shift the weight back. 
reach like you're grabbing a heavy box and handing it just sort of straight up like you have an attic access or something right overhead. Three, press, two, one more right there. Hold that low. Same hand as the back leg. So if your right leg is behind you, grab your right wrist with your left hand, pull yourself over to that left side. Hold, hold, hold. Bring it up. Sink a little bit lower, bringing those hands down on that thigh. Again, you can reach for your shin, your foot, maybe the floor. Sink, stretch. Good, wherever you are, I want you to bring both hands down to the floor. Shift one foot back into downward facing dog. Press your heels down. Lift through that tailbone. Shift your weight forward. So you're in sort of a plank position. Puff up between those shoulder blades. Pull up through the lower back and belly button. Lift into downward dog. Walk those feet in. Roll it up standing. Shift right over to the other side for me. So shift that left foot back this time. Just lift the heel and lower. Really thinking about your calf and Achilles tendon, just warming up through the bottom part of that leg. Lift and lower. Three, two. Press the heel down. Lean the weight forward into the front leg so that the back leg gets a super stretch. Reach forward as far as you can. Bring those hands up overhead, a little bend in the back knee, lift that back heel, sink low. Good, so press the heel away from you as you reach for that heavy box. Bring the heel up, drop the knee as you reach overhead. So reach for a little box and then shift and press it overhead. Reach and press. So kind of think about the stretch going from the calf and Achilles tendon to the front of the leg on the hip flexor and quad. One more right there. And up. And then bring that weight forward more into sort of a runner's lunge. Press that back heel back. Reach maybe for your shin on the floor. Hold for one super deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Wherever you are, go ahead and come forward. Drop those knees as much as you need. Bring your hands to the floor. Shift that foot back. So now you're in downward facing dog. Press the heels down. Tailbone up. And then right there, shift that weight forward into plank. Pull the belly button in and up. Lift up and back into downward dog. Shift forward into plank. Puff up between those shoulder blades. Lift through the lower back. Lift into downward dog. Walking your hands and feet in towards each other. Rolling that back all the way up to standing. Beautiful. And coming all the way down on the mat for me. Good. I want you to grab that loop, if you're going to be using it, and place it on your legs and bring it all the way up around your thighs for me. Good. Flipping yourself around so that you're in a little bit more of a tabletop position. Tuck those toes under. And then lift in that tabletop position so that your knees are just barely hovering over the floor for me. Hold for four, three, two. Now lift one leg, press into that loop. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Find that tabletop. Cover those knees, lift the other leg. Press for eight, seven, six, five, four right there, three, two, hold, hold, hold. Tap one knee, center, other knee. Tap one knee, center, other knee. Two sets, one knee, other knee, teeny tiny one more with the knees still up push into those toes lift those hips back into downward dog walk your hands out slightly as you shift your weight forward into plank scoop and lift right back up into downward dog 
forward into plank. One more, lift into downward dog. Turn your hands slightly so that your pointer fingers are pointing slightly inwards towards the center of your body. And bend your elbows for a little diamond push up and up. So it's a teeny tiny bend, elbows out to the sides and lift. Two more. And lift. One more. Lift. Set those knees down. Find that nice solid tabletop position. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. Hold four. Three. Two. Give me those little taps. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And press. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Little knee taps, one side and the other side. Tap and tap. Two more sets. Tap and tap. One more. Hold right in the center. Hover those knees first. Then scoop through the belly button, lift into downward dog. Shift forward into plank. Lift into downward dog. Shift forward into plank. Last one, downward dog. Teeny tiny inward rotation on those hands. The fingertips are slightly towards each other. Diamond push up for four. Lift. Three. Lift. Scoop the belly button into your spine. Lift through your lower back. Drop those knees. Sit all the way back into child's pose. One deep breath. Beautiful, swinging those feet all the way around. So start with that ball behind your lower back. Just crush into the ball and lift. Crush into it and lift. So sort of pulling that belly button towards the ball as you press back and lift and back two more just like that and when you feel ready we're going to extend one leg at a time so as you go back lengthen one leg and bring it in and lengthen beautiful press back and lengthen same thing if you don't have the ball little half back curl halfway back teeny reverse curl and lengthen. One more on each side. Hold those feet low. Reach back. Reach the arms overhead. Bring them back in. And lift. Back. Just the arms. Just the arms. Lift the torso. Back. Reach. In. Lift. Back. Reach. In. And lift, four like that. Little bitty reach, pull the belly button, in and back. Do that little kegel squeeze, that little internal tightening. Make the abdominal wall tighter. Two more, reach. You've got this. Back, reach. Take it back. Start to lengthen those legs out till your toes are barely off the floor, heels are on the floor. Take the arms overhead, open like a Y, in, forward, overhead, Y, in, forward, reach, open, close, forward, reach, open, close, and forward. Two more like that. Open, close, forward, open. Now the arms can stay right here. Or you can take them right back overhead as you just lift and lower. Seven, six, five, four more. Three, two, pull that belly button in. Don't stick it out and sit all the way up for bridge. Beautiful. Take that ball, placing it between your thighs. Roll yourself all the way back and down. Squeeze the ball nice and tight if you have it. If not, press your big toes in and down into the floor nice and hard and squeeze your knees towards each other. 
<coughs> almost like you're holding a heavy brick between your knees. Tuck those hips under, roll up into bridge, and roll right back down. So just lift, lift, lower, lower. If you do have that ball there, really engage those inner thighs by super squeezing the ball as you lift. Lift, lower, lower, four, and lower. Be sure the weight's super even through your heels, also in your shoulder blades, but not in your neck and head. Lower, last one like that, lift right there. Hold about halfway, so you're not all the way at the top of your bridge. You're just sort of hovering halfway in between. I want you to lift the right hip, center, left hip. Teeny tiny rock one hip up, the other hip up. Little bitty lift and lift. Four little sets just like that. Lift, three, lift, two, lift, one more on each side. Right there, squeeze the ball as tight as you can. Lift the hips a little higher, stay halfway. Squeeze the ball, lift the top half. Squeeze the ball, lift the top half. Squeeze the ball, lift the top half. You have four like that. Lift, three, lift, two. One more, back to those hip swings. Seven, six, five, four, three. Just pulse the squeeze on the ball for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. And then just pulse that little bridge at the top for eight, seven, six, five. You're almost there. Three, two. Set those hips down nice and gentle. Take the ball out, grab onto one knee, pull yourself all the way up to a seated position. Good, take that ball back towards your lower back for me and grab onto your hand weights. Good, I want you actually to roll that lower ball or that ball back a little bit so that you have enough space for your hand to fit between where the ball is on your mid back. Lift those arms up overhead with those little hand weights. I want you to open and squeeze. You can absolutely do this without hand weights. You can grab water bottles, all kinds of things that you could grab onto just to create that little extra resistance. Or you could just squeeze those chest muscles and squeeze. Four, three, two. Just slow that down. So open, slow, squeeze, bring it in. Open and squeeze. Bring it in. Open and squeeze. Here's number four. Four more. Nice and slow. Make it smooth open. Squeeze with your chest muscles as you close. Pull your lower back towards the floor. Press your belly button in towards your spine. One more slow. Leave those hands right there. Curl your shoulders in slightly, like you're trying to make a C curl with your spine, and then start to straighten. C curl, and start to straighten. Now, do not straighten so far back that your belly button starts to push out, or you start to lose control. Just keep it nice and small for me. Four, back, three, and back, two more. One more, good, take one weight, reach outside the opposite knee, and center, other side. Reach with a little twist, and reach with a little twist. Teeny tiny, reach, lift through the shoulder, twist from where the rib cage works towards the belly button. Teeny tiny, squeeze through those abs, and press, give me two little sets like that and press. One more each side. And then teeny tiny punch just right over the knee. A little bend in those elbows. 
getting a little bit more into those biceps and shoulders. Four, three, two, one more. Bring yourself all the way up. Good, we're gonna roll ourselves all the way down. Be sure that you have that ball close by so that you can place it underneath your hips. So when you roll down, bring your knees in and just lift those hips up so that you're sitting on that ball for me. Good, if you start to push your knees away, you will find a point where your belly button gets nice and tight. Same thing, if you don't have the ball, your hips are just sitting on the mat. I want you to just reverse curl. So pull those knees in towards your chest and make your hips light on the floor ball and push your knees away. So pull them in, lift them up, set your hips down, push the knees away till it gets tight. So it's the in, lift, lower, out, in, lift, lower. Give me four just like that. In, lift, lower, out, in, lift. I'm sure that if I could see you right now, you would be doing an amazing job and I'd be so proud of you. And you're not just sitting at your desk watching this as you don't do anything at all, right? Two more, lift, and out. One more. Lengthen those legs up. Same thing, just lift the hips and lower. Swing them towards you as you lift and lower. Teeny tiny lift and lower. Just enough to make those hips light on the ball. Four like that. Three. Two. Now I want you to give me a little tick tock with those legs. So drop your legs towards one side and bring them back to center. Drop towards the other side just a little bit and come back to center. Do that again. Drop to one side and center. Drop to the other side and center. Little bitty drop and center. Drop. Now I want you to add on, I want you to give me a little drop to one side, lift off the ball. Tick tock to one side, lift off the ball. A little bitty press and lift, drop and lift. For four, lift, three, lift, two more, one more. And then right there, just crisscross the legs with those hips on the ball. As you're crisscrossing those legs, those little scissor legs, start to press them down towards the floor and then slowly start to bring them back up. We're gonna do a little, three little sets like that. So it's four, three, two, one. Lift back up, three, two, halfway there. Drop four, three, two, one, and lift, three, two, Last little set, drop, three, two, and lift, three, two, and one. Knees into your chest, just rock those hips enough that you can take the ball out if you're seated on the ball. Again, grab onto your knees, roll yourself all the way up seated. So we're gonna start with a loop on our legs. I'm gonna give you an option for using a hand weight in just a minute as well. Go ahead and take your hands back behind you Turn your fingertips in towards you and just teeny tiny bend to the elbows and straighten. Working into those triceps, bend and straighten, bend and straighten. So in a minute, I'm gonna give you the option of lifting the hips as you do this, but I really want you to start with your hips on the floor because I want you to really feel that the move is all in the arms. It's all about bending and straightening and it's not at all about lifting and lowering your hips. So give me four like that, lift, three, two, good. Drive those feet into the floor, let your hips hover off the floor, same thing, drop and lift, seven, six, five, just four like that, three, two, now we're going to add the legs in with it. So I want you to open into that loop or open even if you don't have a loop. One tricep dip. Open the legs. One tricep dip. Open the legs. 
tricep dip. Open the legs, tricep dip. Four like that. Open and dip. Three, dip. Two, one more. Hold yourself up with those arms. A little bit of kick of one leg and in. Other leg and in. If you have that loop, whenever you kick, you can open to the side just a little bit. Add a little more into that outer thigh. Press for four, three, two. I know that your arms are probably talking to you. Last set, bend the elbows, shoot the leg up. Bend the elbows, shoot the leg up. Bend and press. Bend, little kick for four, little kick. You can do this. Three, two more, press, one more. Good, we're gonna take the arms out of it. So set the hips down, leave the loop around the legs. Roll yourself all the way back and down. Walk those feet in nice and close for bridge. Lift your hips up. Give me that same feeling of opening the legs that you were doing in between the tricep press. Six, five, four right there. Three, two, beautiful. Give me that little kick on one side and in. Kick on the other side and in. Little kick. Little kick, just two more. Kick. One more set, so do each side. Little kick. Now whether you have the loop or not, I want you to lift one leg up so it can just barely hover the floor or you can extend it all the way out. And I want you to swing the knee out to the side and in. So if it's here, nice and low, it's just the knee. And if it's extended, full leg. Swing and in. Four, three, just two like that. Switch sides so it can be hover or out, but swing the knee to the side. Remember if the toe is down, the knee just drops open and in, open. Keep those hips nice and lifted for me. You have four little kicks to the side, three, two, last one and you're there. Set that foot all the way down, lift the hips a little bit higher, tuck the hips under, roll it all the way down for me. Good, grabbing onto your knees so you can roll yourself up. Go ahead and take the loop off of your legs and we're gonna swing our legs all the way around for a little work in plank. So to get into a nice plank position, once you start in tabletop with your wrist directly underneath your shoulders, Belly button lifted, lower back puffed up, sort of puff up between your shoulder blades. Good. Shoot one leg straight back so there's a straight line from your shoulder through your heel without moving anything. Lengthen the other leg back. If at any point you feel like you need to drop to your knees, set your knees down and then pick your toes up slightly so there's no weight on your kneecaps and to kind of help you to keep those hips low so you don't start to come up here in this tabletop position for me. Good. One knee, pull and pull. So if you're down on your knees, pull to the side, pull to the side. Same thing in plank, pull and pull. Give me four sets, knee pull, three, knee pull. Two more. One more. Little bitty rock. Forward and back and plank. Three. If you're on your knees, little rock. Press more weight into your hands. One more. Good. Give me one little rock. One knee pull. Same side. Knee pull, do that again. Little rock, knee pull, little rock. 
switch sides for me. Rock through the plank, knee pull side. Rock through plank, knee pull side. Two more. Remember, if you're on your knees, just shift the weight a little bit. Knee pull side. Good, hold plank, lift the knees if you can. Two, one, drop the knees, sit all the way back, one deep inhale. And exhale. Into tabletop. I want you to give me that same little feeling of that knee pull and pull. Alternate and alternate. If you feel like you can, shift back into that plank, knee pull, alternate and alternate for four, three. Remember, you can still be in tabletop. Two. One side, eight pull forwards, eight, seven, six, five, almost there, three, two, open it side, eight, same thing on your knees, six, five, pull up through the back, four, three, two, switch sides straight forward, eight, seven, six, five, same thing on the knees, four, three, you pick your position, take it out to the side for eight, seven, six, keep the hips low, five, on the knees, same thing, pull to the shoulder, three, two, one more, downward dog, drop the knees, Child's pose. Deep inhale and exhale. And then go ahead and grab that one weight for me that we were talking about earlier. Anything heavy that you can hold on to works. And if you don't have something heavy, then simply create your own resistance in your mind as if you're pushing against something. We're gonna set the weight behind one knee, come down into a tabletop position, if your lower back talks to you when you lift your leg, you can always lower down onto your elbows and work in this position right here. Just be sure that you're still pulling your belly button, your back up, and not just super sinking down into that. Good, squeezing that leg. Just lift and lower. Lift. Working on the hamstring, the back part of the thigh, all the way up into the glutes, the derriere. And lower. Four. Three, two, take it to the top, hold, drop one inch, lift back up, slow, lift. Now as you're doing this really slow, really small lift, push the floor away from you, kind of puff up between your shoulder blades, pull that lower back to the ceiling, squeeze your belly button in towards your spine, and then do that teeny tiny Kegel squeeze, that little tightening. Four, three, two. Good, I want you to lift it straight back, bring it all the way in so the knees meet, and then lift it straight out to the side, bring it back in. Straight back and in, side and in, to the back and in, side and in. Little bitty press back, a little open. Press back and open. Four sets like that. Open. Three. Open. You've got this. Two. Last one back and side. And now just stay side for eight. Seven. Six, five, four like that, three, hold it up, little pulses at the top, eight, seven, six, five, four, breathe, belly button in, and release. Switch right over to the other side for me. So place the weight behind the opposite knee. Good, puff up between.
between your shoulder blades. Remember, you are welcome to work down here. You're gonna get the same glute work. It's just gonna give your lower back a little bit of a break if it needs it. So full range and lower. Seven, six, five. Give me four right there. All the way up, all the way down. Lift, lower. One more, and then stop at the top. Hold, drop one inch, lift one inch. Make it so slow when you lift that you really have a lot of time in here to kind of think about pushing the floor away from you, puffing up between your shoulder blades, pulling your lower back to the ceiling. Lower and lift. Four, lift, three. Two little bitty presses. All the way in, bring the knee all the way in so that it matches. Lift to the side and bring it in. Full lift behind you. Full lift to the side. Back and side. Press back. Lift side, give me four little sets like that. Squeeze with the back of the leg, squeeze with the bottom. Three, side lift. Two, even if you do not have a weight, you are probably super duper feeling this right now, right? Last set and then just straight side lift for eight. Seven, keep your hips parallel with each other. Pull everything up towards the ceiling. Do not sink down towards the floor. You got this. Three, two, hold it up and pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Setting that weight over to the side. Quick little stretch for the back of those legs. Just reach forward towards your toes. You can place your hands anywhere on your legs that they come to. Inhale super deep and exhale. Feel like you just sort of melt down towards those legs. Good, sitting up. Crossing one ankle over the opposite knee. You can stay right there or you can start to bend those knees in and just give a little tug stretching through that hip we were working. Inhale and exhale. Good, lengthen those legs out, switch. Cross the opposite ankle over. Remember, you can stay right there. You can pull it in a little bit. You can sit up nice and tall, whatever's gonna stretch through that hip for you. And then teeny stretch for those triceps. Lift one arm up, tuck that hand behind your head, reach for that elbow. Try to lift your gaze and your chin up and lean just a little bit away from it. And then switch sides. Look up, lean away from it. Bring those hands down, one deep inhale. Exhale out. Beautiful job, thank you so much for watching. There's a little button with my face in it that if you hit it, you can subscribe to my channel. And then there's also a bell, which if you hit that, it will send you notifications and you will know every time I upload a new workout and then you won't miss any. Thanks again.